in here. Can you guys give me a hand for a second? But we're watching a show. Mm -hmm. All right. Your move, creep. What's up, everybody? It's your favorite Robert Cops, favorite nerd. Today, we are looking at the Figma Robotech. Robert, Bobby, that's the connect. Forget it. This is on loan to me from Michael E. Once again, this is two of the three figures that he sent my way. I'm anxious to take a look at it. I like Robocop. I like Figma. So uh, I'm anxious to take a look at it. Let's go ahead and get started. I want to say first and foremost, because it's a tendency uh, thing I tend to forget. It comes with a Figma stand, same way it always operates, swivels, hinges, and such, and then a peg in the back that pegs into his back. So there you go. I always forget to show the stands with some of these figures so I want to make sure I get that done of course he comes with a bunch of hands two pointing hands left and right two trigger finger hands left and right and then we have two relaxed hands left and right and then for the right hand we have an additional trigger finger hand and the like spiky knuckle uh, hand which is a cool a cool little accessory they're all styled the same we'll talk about that when we get to the figure he comes with his signature pistol, of course. The pistol is a black glossy plastic and sculpted very nicely, but not a lot of love else other than that, rather. And then we have this translucent piece that goes on. It plugs in, the barrel plugs in. It's not a very long barrel, so uh, it's not a very long plug in, but it works just fine. I do feel like it points up slightly, but theoretically it should. I just learned that recently, so good to go. Of course, he can hold it with no problem. And it can fit into this thigh piece that can be used with this uh, his right leg by removing this. And then these two plugs plug in there so that it sits on him like, and then you can take this and plug this into the back to kind of cover down to give the illusion of the leg opening up for him grabbing his pistol. And that is pretty cool. And lastly, he comes with a battle damage helmet with that kind of burn mark down the side there, that scorch mark. It's painted nice enough. You just pull the top part out. I've already loosened it up a bit for the sake of review purposes and plug this one in. And then you can put it in. I also showed, uh, you know, how the, the plug in for the head. I might as well show the joint while I'm here. So let's talk about the figure. The head, as you saw, is on a ball peg. There is a double ball peg going, it seems like, anyway, if it's not hinged. It might be hinged. I don't know. But you get a you get a fair amount of movement out of it either way, which is nice. The let's talk about the paint real quick. He does have this silver finish and there is like a purple hue shading, like a, it's like a dr uh, airbrush blast that goes down on some of the parts of the uh the armor it looks really good. Uh, it's interesting, but it's not jarring. Do you know what I mean? Like it's not distracting. It just looks cool. Which is nice. It, it is it has like a little like animated face, like it was almost like a cartoon mouth painted on. That's not my favorite, and there's no shading on the face, so it's definitely going for a more stylized take on him. But I guess that's fine. I guess that's kind of Figma's way. So you get the swivel as well. You get glossy black paint. You get this silver finish. You get this blue metallic paint, and it has uh, some police information kind of on the side of it painted on there. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that or not, but you should, right there. Uh, the the, uh, let's see here. I think that's like one of those ball hinges that Figma uses for the torso. Uh, and then we have a, what feels like it might even be a double, but I think it's just a single, just great range. Anyway, utilizing both pieces of articulation, you get a crazy amount of articulation. So that's good. And then we have a lot of sculpted detail and stuff on the chest and on the back and on these black glossier plastics that are used for the abdomen. We have a floating piece here for the pelvis. It's a little looser than I would personally like, but it is there. And then we have the shoulder joints, which is a ball peg that comes out to a ball hinge. No, it's a double ball peg. Ball peg going into the torso and then coming out to a larger socket. Uh, I'm not going to take it off. It doesn't belong to me. But the articulation is a little limited. Out to the side is not much. You know, you can... Ooh, that wasn't good. It's like a Rebel Tech figure. Um, and then you get the swivel around. But, yeah, it's not the best. Bicep swivel here at the elbow hinge that gets you 90 degrees. And then we have a wrist swivel at the ball peg where the hands connect into the forearm. 
still tons of sculpted detail and then we have a flat black here for the joint and then a more glossy black so i like stuff like that i like little breakups and finishes so that's cool i mean i'm sure it's by design because they didn't want to do a glossy stuff for the uh engineering but i think it ends up looking a little bit more unique so i'm good with all that for the hips it's uh, i can't tell i think it's just a ball peg uh but you it's limited once again you get out to about there I don't think there's a drop down you get forward and then you get the thigh swivel around the ball peg i'm okay with that as well same for this side they could have done it differently on this side probably not on this side because of the gimmick here for the leg we have a knee hinge that gets you 90 degrees on a single hinge we have tons of sculpted detail up in there and it looks like even maybe a wash on that which looks good actually i might have a wash throughout a lot of these um like line panels and like line panel stuff looks good we have these here um so you can have it sitting up in the back and use the piston i have found that it has a tendency to just fall out but it is there and now i'm not gonna be able to get it back in and it's on a hinge here so you should get some articulation out of it as well i'm not gonna bother too much with it i think it's a cool idea i'm not sure if it's executed as well as it should be but i guess ultimately it's fine all right so the ankles themselves are on uh, ball hinges so you get a tilt down a tilt up and the rocker so no issues there and then the feet kind of carry feet kind of carry through with the same sort of uh, designs for uh, the the Robotech um, the, the Robotech what am I doing <laughs> I'm sorry for for the the Robocop uh, kind of accents like the the purple kind of airbrush blast the silver finish and then tons of sculpted detail so pretty cool it doesn't have that like lifelike kind of feel that a lot of the Figuart stuff uh, has. It has the more animated feel, but I think that's more Figma's way. And it's still a, a pretty impressive looking Size figure. Size comparison wise, there it is next to a Marvel Legends. So it's pretty small coming in at about five and a half inches or for the rest of the world, uh, I guess about 14 centimeters. Final thoughts wise, it's okay. I, I just feel like, I, I, let me try to look for a date on this thing. I think this is an older figure and it, it, it feels, it feels dated. It doesn't feel up to kind of today's standard. I'm not seeing a date on here, but it's fine. I, the, the paint is impressive. The articulation, not so much. The accessories are cool, but there's nothing really mind blowing. I do like the, the leg gimmick, but I had to split it a little bit in order to get this pose just to work. So uh, I, I can't give this one a recommend because I feel like we're probably on the cusp of something better happening at some point. But uh, it's an interesting figure if you ever get the opportunity to check it out. And if you have it already, you probably bought it at a point when it was impressive and you can get it in the stoic pose and be happy with it. But it's not exactly something that does it for me. I don't like the animated take on the face. Of course, that's more of a subjective thing, but it's worth noting. I don't like the gun effect, really. I, like, it's cool that he came with it, but I don't like it. The only thing I really like about it is the paint and uh, the, the kind of thigh gimmick. But the articulation is limited. The aesthetic is, you know, not exactly what people think of when they think of RoboCop. So there's just there's just not enough here for me to give this a recommend. But I do appreciate the opportunity to take a look at it. And I do appreciate you guys. So I'm going to tell you, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.